Hey YouTube, Yugirox97 here with a video um, on a discussion on Frog Monarchs after September 1st, 2011. Okay, I'm pretty sure most of you have seen the ban list by now. Everyone's putting up a video about it. And if you haven't, the only cards you really need to know about for Frog Monarchs is Fishborg is banned if you haven't seen the ban list already. Um, so that just makes formula completely less good. And formula's at one. So formula monarchs are dead, and all you have left is old frog monarchs without substitute. And, um, I'm just going to give, like, you know, advice, because the win condition, again, is, uh, tributes. So... Your main win condition, and yeah, I don't have any Caius to show you guys because, like, I trade them all. I was surprised how fast Caius goes after your binder. I had, like, 12, and then one day they were just gone. I was like, what just happened? All my Caiuses were wrecked out of my binder. But I do have some cards, like, Two Line Darkness. He's always going to be broken as crap. And, um, yeah, he's like, I think he would probably be the win condition because... Just because Fishborg's banned, you know, Light and Dark doesn't get any less broken. So I'd be running, like, two of those. And, like, you know, you can't... I am i wouldn't say to run Mobius. So don't run Mobius. I don't think he's good this format because there's three MST and a Heavy Storm. So, you know, you have to... If you weren't maxed out on Rises already, you should do that. Max out on your Rises. For the other Mobius, and I think you need to max out on your rises this format, especially. I mean, I was already running three, but an interesting that will help this deck a lot is Tragodia went up to two. I was always my favorite part about this deck was always the OTK stoppers, and with Tragodia to two, and this deck always has a large hand because you can't overextend really with this deck. You just bring out Treeborn, play a Monarch. And, I mean, sometimes you can use enemy controller and stuff, but that's pretty much it. So, Trigodi is always really good. He's usually 24 or higher. And he's a good Xyz, really good easy Xyz. Um, you can't really synchro now, so I wouldn't even be running a tuner, actually. If you want to synchro, you have enemy controller. So, just take their tuner or something. Uh, but Trigodi at 2 is really good, I think. Um... It gives the deck a little boost for Fishboard being banned. And if you weren't maxed out on this already, um, Triple Enemy Controller, I think you need to be running three. And Triple Soul Exchange, I think you need to be running three. Because, again, Fishboard's banned and you need to um, have a little extra push. And most people I know were already maxed out on these, but if you weren't, I think it's kind of necessary with just having Treeborn. So, three soul exchange for your tributes, because you run more tributes now. My tribute lineup would be, like, three Caius, three Ryza, two Light and Darkness, two Vanity Fiend, and, um, two, uh, Dark Dust. Two Vanity Fiend, Vanity Fiend, you take out Jinzo, because Jinzo is, like, completely worthless, this format, to me, because heavy and triple MST. So, you don't even need Jinzo. So, Vanity's Fiend is really good, because he's more protected, because less people are going to be running um, heavy back row, so he you aren't shouldn't be as scared for him to leave the field with D-Prison and all that stuff, because you're going to have triple MST in the main and uh, Heavy Storm. So that deals with your problem with Vanity's Fiend, that's why I stopped using him and put Jinzo in last format, but this format I'd definitely be running two. And two dark dust. Um, yeah, I'm kind of scared about what's going to happen in this format with light sworn and twilight and zombies, which I'm running. And two call of the haunted is really nice. And everything they gave zombies a pretty good push. And um, dark dust spirit just wrecks the whole field, and no one's going to be running as much back row. And if they do, you just heavy storm. So. And yeah, so that's that would be my 
um, tribute lineup. I think that's going to be like probably it's way different from last format because no one ran two dark dust and you didn't see a lot of vanity fiends. So um, I think that frog monarchs aren't dead. They just got like you can't run formula monarchs. You have to run old frog monarchs. And um, the same thing's always going to work about frog monarchs, and that is that they always going to win. They're always most likely going to win game one because your opponent has triple MST, heavy storm, and it doesn't work. So they're going to have a lot of dead cards where you're not, and that gives you just an advantage. So game two, they side out their heavy storm and triple MST, and this is the only card I have to represent it, but I would be siding in macro. Like, side in three macros, cosmos, um... Uh, three D fissures, three survivors, two scout planes, and some more traps, and just side out all your frogs and stuff, because macro without heavy and triple MST in your deck, you have they have no back row destruction, so your macro is going to be safe, and DD survivors is going to keep coming out, and then all their removal they sided in to remove your frogs is now dead, so they have the same amount of dead cards as they did first game. Except now it's dead when you're bringing, instead of a tree one frog, you're bringing a DD survivor at the end phase. And you still spam monarchs the same way, but frog monarchs win game one, and macro will win game two if they sided out all their MSTs and heavy, which every game I played against, that's what they side out. So, I would definitely be siding into macro just to ensure the win if you don't have it. If you lose game one with frog monarchs, um, which doesn't happen often, you probably side into macro, and then they'll probably notice you're in macro, and then you side back out, but then if you side back out, they're not going to side back in. So, I guess, if you don't win first game, like most Frog Monarchs do, um, I guess it's more of a game of chance and how people side back, and things like that. So, yeah. This was yu gi 97 um... I don't have the card, so I can't do a deck profile on it. Maybe I can do one on Dueling Network in um, about two or so days. You know, I'll, I'll give you guys some help on Frog Monarchs. I mean, I know a lot of you are subbed to me for my Frog Monarch video because after I put that up, I started getting lots of subscribers. Well, lots for me is about 10 because I only have like 130. So yeah, um, anyway guys, this was the video, um, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! 97 bye YouTube.